Hi there, guys, and welcome back for another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario TTYD. In this part, we're going to be going through the second day on the train and having ourselves a good old time. First things first, we're going to get an email for no reason. But I do believe we need to talk to Pennington again. Because today, we're going to be making a stop to fuel the train. So we're going to get off there. But... There's things we need to do first. Hello, Mr. Penguin. Ah, oh, my dear Luigi, your timing is impeccable. A new case is arising. Now, then, awkward reading. Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my assistant, Luigi. Okay, okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was, was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal, and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least. No, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital, so tell Luigi slowly. Of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly, it's an amazing product that can even raise the dead. But if mixed with the calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold, well then, the results are explosive. The resulting gold goo blast would immobilize everyone here in a sticky yet yummy shellac. It has fallen into the, into the wrong hands. Well, I could lose more than my job. Let's examine the facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. Though you definitely had it yesterday. Hmm. And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. I have it! Rudimentary, my dear Luigi. Rudimentary! The thief is still on the train. Aha! Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and the lady in cabin two? They have both lost something on this train. The waitress lost shell earrings. And the lady, Toodles, lost a gold ring. Luigi, if the same person who stole these objects also has a nitro honey syrup, they could be making this goo blast. They could carry out the threat in the note. So, it is simple, Luigi. We must find that thief. We must apprehend the suspect before the dastardly plan is put into effect. Oh god, this sounds dire. I don't want sticky stuff over all my walls. Let's see. We gotta talk to these people too. Anyway, she's she's just like, oh hey, can you find my shell earrings? And she talks so freaking slowly. So anyways. She's like, oh my boyfriend gave it to me. My ex-boyfriend. And I wanna remember him. I don't understand either, don't worry. And, if we talk to Toodles over here, uh, oh, there she is. She's just gonna be like, oh, hell, can you help me find my gold ring? Yeah, sure. The only reason I say talk to them beforehand is because, uh, if you do that and then you give it back to them, I think they give you stuff. Let's talk to Zip to where is he? Zip toad. You got a vital paper? This looks like it could be something important and complicated. Alright. Well, might as well bring that back to Pennington. Because I don't know how to read. I'm just too hard. Can't do it. This chapter is really short now that I think about it. We should finish it up in about another three parts. Which is awesome. I love that. Because I said I'd finish this by May 3rd. And it's looking like that might not happen. Oops. I might have told a lie. I'm just gonna go over there now awkwardly. Anyways. Have you stumbled upon any new clues? Little paper. What is this paper, hmm? What sort of clues is it supposed to hold? Ah, that, that's one of the contracts of my upcoming business deal. What? I mean, yes, just as I suspected. Luigi, where did you find this very important clue? Cabin 1, you say? Yeah, Zip Toad's room. A place I have long suspected. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. Then perhaps he is hiding somewhere on the train. Always one step ahead. Very well, my dear Luigi. Find that Zip Toad. Okay, can do. Might as well head back to his room, because that seems like the only place that he could hide in. Hmm, one second here. Do I do I have full inventory? I wonder. Let me check. I think I do. Yeah, I do. I was gonna say, 
I'll go in there and buy that boo sheet or a mister or something. Because I actually like the items on this train. One of the few shops in the game I'll actually use. Because I don't like buying things in this game. I don't like fueling capitalism. Screw that. Anyways, let's go and investigate Zip Toad's room. Hmm, maybe if we had his Vivian again, somebody will come out. Or maybe they won't and I have the wrong room. <laughs> Alright, that's embarrassing. I know which cabin he's hiding in then. I guess I just had a really derpy moment there. Let's head back into our room, I suppose. And there's a piece of paper in here, too. Could this be another clue? Another document from the briefcase. The suspect must be in here somewhere. Alright, let's just hide and somebody should be coming out. That was a nice sound effect. So, where'd you come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy. Yeah, uh, you jump straight into me, you idiot. Youch! So this was our man all along, pretending to be Zip Toad, I see. All the while pilfering things from others to aid your evil plan. Hmm, yes, this was all just as I had deduced. I knew all along you were a fake. Yes, a discolored nostril hair tipped me off. And not only that, but I knew that you were the, not the only one who threatened Luigi. Curses, I almost got away with it by getting off Riverside Station, too. Yes, you played a daring and an ingenious little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, fiend. And the good people on this train are now safe. That is correct, sir. No one escapes from this improbably large brain. Ahem, well, yes, in any case, at least return what you have stolen, Fink. Uh... You got a briefcase! Why doesn't it just hand it to the rat? I don't know! You got a golden ring! And you got some shell earrings. Ah, my precious briefcase! Is the nitro honey syrup safe? I don't know why he just didn't give it to him in the first place. Anyways, our rendezvous with disaster was diffused by my most rudimentary of deductions. You didn't do anything, Pennington! Bing bong, bing bong! Attention all passengers! This train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. And here we are at the fueling station. Riverside Station, that is. The only place where we're going to be fighting enemies in the entire chapter. Hey, I think not, Slick. You think you can hold me? No way. Bellum would flip if I let that happen. Oh my god, it's Dupless. This whole zip toad thing was just a means to an end. It's me, suckers. Dupless. Beldum's plan to goofy Mario didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running now. I'll leave the rest to Beldum. See you guys! <laughs> yep, so Zip Toad all along was dupless, which is awesome. Right, let's just take out Bobbery here, because like I said, we're getting into the fighting part of this chapter, and I'd much prefer to have Bobbery than Piccolo. I'd be fine with having Vivian out too, but Bobbery for now seems like a good option. So, here we are at the stop of stoppiness. These guys are out here. It's so super cool looking right now. I want to drive it right now. <laughs> Bub. So, little Bub really likes trains, does he? Where does one buy a train? <laughs> Gold Bob and his richness. What do you have to say, Mr. Chubby Guy? Brrr, I've been cooped up in that breathing stale air for so long. I wanted to go out and take a walk so I could build up an appetite for dinner. <laughs> oh, the stereotypes. Oh no, what do we do? Someone's lifted the drawbridge. The train can't possibly leave a station like this. You can do an awesome 70s movie jump. I saw a suspicious looking shadowy person enter the place with a hat. Because that's totally what he said. He must have gone down to the bridge control room to flip the switch there. But that switch hasn't been used in a long, long time. So I don't know where the control room is. So um, it's probably against protocol to ask a passenger to do this, but... Since you are the famous Mario and all, could you go f and hit that switch, maybe? Sure thing. 
And we got the station key. So now we can go in there and do stuff. Do we have full health? Yeah, we do. Anyways, let's just talk to Pennington really quick. Ah, oh, my dear Luigi, our suspect was not only a fake zip toad, he was some monstrous being in a white sheet, which was exactly as I suspected. Too bad he gave us a slip like that, though. He was rather a slippery sort. We could have questioned him about all that Beldum business. <laughs> I just suspected he was a white man in a sheet, or a sheet of white man. A sheet over a white man. I, what did I just say? I don't even, I don't even know what I just said. Can I get that using Bobbery? There's probably some way to get that. A uh, close call P wouldn't be the worst thing I've ever gotten. So... Oh, I know how to get that. Never mind. We can get that later. After we're done with this place, we can get out of there. Get that. Get that out of there. Whatever. Okay, let's roll under here, because there should be some happy goodies. Or just a switch. Let's see, what does this do? Opens up staircase. Okay. Whatever. Let's just roll ourselves back under here. By turning into the Incredible Tube Man. And... Uh, yeah, we can't go over there yet. I don't actually like... Uh, what was I saying? I was about to say I didn't like Riverside Station. I actually like Riverside Station. It's pretty cool. I like how it's all abandoned, and some of the jumping puzzles are kind of cool, I think. And, uh, this place kind of works like a Zelda Dungeon-esque area, which is why I like it. Not to mention, we get pretty much the last upgrade in the game in this place, which is awesome. So now we'll be able to do pretty much anything. And Bobbery's overpowered. He does 7 damage, which is nearly the amount I do. And we're going to be grounding, grounding, grinding off these rough puffs here. These guys aren't that, aren't that hard. And I'm pretty sure they're the, what's the word, minion, 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 what? Uh, English is not working well with me today. Anyways, uh, I'm pretty sure they're the minions of Huff and Puff from the first Paper Mario game, so I don't know why they're here. But whatever, not going to question incontinuities in this game. Discontinuities, incontinuities, I don't know what Latin prefix is supposed to go before that. And we're gonna have tons of money after this chapter, by the way, too. Because these guys drop more money. Alright, this jumping puzzle, I have never been good with. Alright, so I think he just... Alright, let's see. I gotta time this well. I think it's jump, 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 ground pound. That didn't work too well. Right, let's try this again. I've never found a found a clear power pattern to this. Pa to but oh wow, that was nicely done. I uh, never found a clear pattern to that, but I did a fine there. So whatever. All right, now we gotta jump up on here, or on here, which moves us over there, and then we just gotta get coops to get that for us. So. Grab that for me, Coops. Thank you. Nothing over there? Alright then, so we can go open that door that we just passed. I have no idea what this machine is doing, other than moving those, but I don't see what those are doing for anything. I don't really understand half the machines in this place, but I like this place, so whatever. And now we can come over here, and I'm going to take Coops off before I end up getting in a fight and getting killed because Coops isn't as good as everybody else. Well, it's better than Flurry, I'll give him that. Alright, well, there's a secret over here. If you roll up into a tube and roll to the left, you can get an HP+, plus. something I'm probably not going to use, but it's there, and I remember it, so. Anyways, we got some poison pokies over here. These guys are like the pokies that we saw only in Chapter 3, I believe, except that they're poison, and they can poison you, in case their name didn't give that away enough. This episode is going by a lot faster than I thought it would. I thought I'd be stopping, like, right at the beginning of Riverside Station. I'm not saying we're, like, halfway done or anything, but... The second day on this train literally consists of that thing we just did with Zip Toad and Dupless, and then completing Riverside Station, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think there's anything to... Ugh, do at night. Don't you love it when you hiccup right in the middle of talking? Oh, thank god I didn't hit bingo. 
How dare you do one damage to me? Overkill! So Bobber is not strong enough to kill these guys, which is quite unfortunate. I'm hoping we level up here. The boss of this chapter is really hard, I think. Thunder Rage, can't use it, just gonna throw it away. Throw it all away. Okay, let's just see if there's anything up there. Okay. Well, Shine's Bright, another one of those. I don't know where all of them are in this game, but I'll try to find as many as I can. Again, not 100%ing that. If you want to see 100%, go watch Bar. Because Bar is better at this game than I am. At least in the aspect of finding things. Anyways. Before I get off on a sidetrack and stop talking about me like the egotistical person I shall be, uh, I shouldn't hammer him. Anyways. Let's just talk about the game. I guess that's the only thing that matters. Alright, well, uh, <laughs> Wow, that was a really bad stumble. Uh, now it seems like a good time to show off Bobbery's new move. Well, other than Hold Fast, which pretty much just gives him kind of like a zap tap for three turns. But anyways, Bob Bombast, I think that's how you pronounce it, you press the A button a bunch of times, and it does nine damage to everybody on the screen. Which is why that's an awesome attack. You feel like clearing out everybody? Go ahead and use that attack. Unfortunately, it uses nine flower power, so you can't use it that much. After we upgrade BP one more time, I might actually decide to upgrade our flower power just so I can use that more. Twice. No, three times? Yeah, I'll be able to use it three times if I upgrade it one more time, I believe. One times three. Nope, no, I need to upgrade it two more times in order to do it three times. But whatever. We got one more chapter to level up after this. Well, really two if you think about it, but... I don't really consider there to be one because chapter seven. And then there's chapter eight, but... Yeah. Anyways... This is totally inconspicuous. I don't know why you put all those post-its over this, but we gotta blow it all away with Flurry so we can get in the door. And it takes forever for them to all fall off. Also, it occasionally lags out my game a little bit. Like right here, if I blow it off and then walk, I just walk slow. It takes forever for them to get off the screen. It just kind of breaks the game a little bit. I don't really understand. Oh god. Spiny Buzzies. I don't like Spiny Buzzies. They're more annoying than anything. I mean, because I think they only give us one XP, so... Or one star point. Oh, I think I screwed this up. Ooh, there's a badge down there. I don't remember which one that is. Uh, there is no way I'm getting out of this. Let's just come out of this ball and... What? Alright, where do I go now? I must have to jump back up. That would make sense. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. There we go, just hop over that, and I think that puts us in a good position. Or it might drop us into a horrible one. Oh, yep, second option there. Horrible place. Oh god, those three minutes just passed really fast. Last time I looked at the clock, it was 15 minutes, I'm like, oh, I'll probably just end it soon. I don't think I'm going to be taking much longer. And then I look back, and we're at 19, so that's always fun. So, after I get into a good position, I'll probably just end this. In fact, after I finish this battle, I'll probably just end the episode. Try to get to a safe place, kill all the enemies, and then, uh, that'll be the episode. Because last episode was long. Doesn't mean this one needs to be. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And in the next part, we shall continue and finish Riverside Station. See you guys then.